Hey, are you going to movie night? I don't know. When is it? It's January 31st at 6.30 p.m. Hi. Cool. Where is it? It's at the H2O Cinema. What movie is it? It's The Dark Knight. Do I have to bring anything? Well, if you're a girl, you bring drinks, and if you're a guy, you bring food. Cool! I want to go! You never moved. Oh yeah, sorry. Hey Tyler. Hey what Chris. What are you doing? This is June 17th through 20th, 2009. I'm going to Alive! What are you doing? You know, I may go too. Really? Where is it? It's in Ohio! Gee willikers. How much is it to get in? It is $97. But you better act soon, because it might increase. Oh, that's swell. What will be there? Well, there's going to be concerts, these big rock and roll bands. There's going to be a couple speakers. There's some swimming that's going to be going on, you know? Yeah, that sounds swell. Who do I see? You see Gregory Rodelius. Okay. Oh! Two bounds on the way! Hi. For thirty-five dollars, you can go to Snowbound. I'm the but king! We need to get I'm the Batman. Soon. Otherwise, you'll have these jokers like these weirdos. There aren't coming. many palm trees in the snow. I'm yes. the king! Listen to me! There'll be lots of snow and lots of fun. I'm the Batman. I'm the going from. 28th of February oh. to... Yeehaw! What do you mean? <laughs> what? Um, um, <laughs> the 27th um, till the 1st of March. So you better go have some fun. Oh yeah, stay classy San Francisco. It's San Diego. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. I'm still the bad man. And remember, <laughs> stay classy, San Diego. Here's the YouTube video. Yeah, YouTube. Oh, palm tree. See you. Palm tree. You. You. Yes. It's you, people. Get out of here. It's you.
to Jumpstart. Hope you enjoyed last week. This week we're going to dive into a little bit of scripture again for you. Hopefully it'll help you uh, build up your own walk on in scripture this week. So I'm going to read to you this week from the book of James, chapter 1, just a few verses. They're actually some of my favorites. We're going to start at verse 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Now, this is one of my favorite passages in Scripture of all time, really, because it's very encouraging to me. Uh, it teaches me that I need to rejoice. I need to find joy in the midst of everything that goes on, no matter how tough it is, no matter how uh, bad it gets, that God still loves me through it all. And he's actually using it to teach me and to grow me. God allows us to go through trials and experiences that we seem to think are horrible, but they're actually ways to show us that he is working in us. He is growing us. He's maturing us. And if we don't go through these, we don't grow. So remember that this week. Yeah, read it through a few times. Jumpstart your week. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. I'm not smoking. Don't Goodbye. Die. That's his inhaler. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Abby, say bye. Abby. Abby. Say bye. Hey! <laughs>